Hello everybody, this is Link2012, and today I will be teaching you how to give your custom mobs custom sounds. Now, we're going to be going over three main custom sounds today. We are going to be going over sounds when the mob is hit, sounds when the mob dies, and passive noises. So, let's get right into it. Before we begin actually making the commands, we're going to need several things. The first and most important is that we need a custom name or score to identify our mob. For the sake of things, we're going to use a custom name. And this mob we are going to call Echolite with a capital E. We are also going to need a fill clock about 10 blocks long. The commands will be shown in this footage as well as in the video description. The importance of the fill clock is that we need several commands to activate in a string. In Minecraft, Every single tick, the blocks are updated in a very, very specific order. We are going to exploit this order in order to create our custom sounds. Lastly, we must ensure that the mob is silent. This can either be done through entity data when the mob is spawned, or an entity command that is constantly running. Here I will be showing you how to do this. We are going to do entity data, at E, type equals blaze, name equals echo light, silent, 1B. Now for some commands. We're going to need three main objectives, one for each type of damage. So we're going to add the objectives light passive, light damaged, and light death. You can make the names as wacky or as wonky as you like, but make sure you have three of them. It's always nice to choose your sounds in advance. For echo light, I've chosen this as the passive sound, this as the hurting sound, and this as a death sound. There will be a page listing all the Minecraft sounds you can use in the video description. Remember that order I talked about earlier? Well, if you don't know how to find it, I'm going to try to show you how. What you do is you set two command blocks up, or a string of command blocks, and have them do basic commands like say one, say two, and so forth. Based on the way they show up in chat, you can determine which command block is fired after one another. For hurt sounds, either the first or last command block that activates must set that entity's damage score to zero. The next command has to set their damage score to one if their data tag for hurt time is 10s. Right after, we want to play that hurt sound relative to all those mobs. So go back and grab your play sound command. And there we go! Now Echo Light will play that sound when he's damaged. Now for passive sounds. There are two main types of passive sounds we're going to be covering. The most basic being one that just runs in a constant loop. One that activates every 10 seconds, every 5 seconds, you can change it. But there's also the possibility to make it slightly random. And I'll be showing you how to do this here in a bit. But the first command you're going to need for both of these is one that increases your entity's passive score by 1. The last command must set their passive score to 0 if it reaches a limit. We're going to set the limit to 200 for this. 200 is approximately 10 seconds, or 200 game ticks. Every second is 20 game ticks. So if we spawn the blaze in, we can see on the sidebar that his passive score is counting up by 20 per second and when it reaches 200, it will go back down. The next command we need is one that will play the sound if his score reaches the cap. This must be before it resets. Therefore, our command would be execute at E, type equals blaze, name equals echolite, score underscore light passive underscore min equals 200 tilde 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 play sound. Now every 10 seconds, the echo light will play his passive sound. Now, if you have a bunch of echo lights at once, 
and you want to sort of make it more random, you can add to a random Echo Lite's passive score every tick. Remember to change the values if you do this. Lastly, we are going to cover the death sounds. The death sounds are by far the most complicated and will take the most concentration to understand. You see, with death sounds, you can't actually detect that the mob is dead, so we're going to have to summon some armor stands to get around that. Consequently, your first command is going to have to be third, or two inside. This command is going to summon an armor stand 10 blocks above the entity with a custom name and the tags Invisible 1B, Marker 1B, and No Gravity 1B. Feel free to go back and look at that to make sure you got it right. Up next, we are going to take a step back and go into the first command. Here we are going to have to add 1 to the passive score of the armor stand we defined earlier. So in this particular case, we do scoreboard players add at E, type equals armor stand, name equals light, light def 1. As our last command, we are going to want to set it up to kill the armor stand if its score for light death is 1. Now here's where things start to get a little bit tricky. Right after you summon the armor stand, you're going to have to add 0 to a secondary score. We're just going to use light damage because we already have that one. So our command would be scoreboard players add at E type equals armor stand name equals light light damage zero. Now we're going to go back and as the second command we're going to want to execute relative to all our echo light mobs to add one to the light damage score of all armor stands above the echo light. And lastly, somewhere before the kill command, we execute 10 blocks below all the armor stands named light with a minimum light dead score of 1 and a maximum light damage score of 0 to play our play sound command. And so now if we spawn our echo light in, there we go. There's the custom death sound. Now something to note is that when you're trying to make the death sound, you're going to have to go through a lot of troubleshooting. This isn't going to happen in one try. Feel free to look back at the video over and over again to try to find your errors. We all make mistakes, and it takes quite a bit of time to learn stuff like this. Well guys, that about wraps it up for this episode. If you need any help, all the resources and commands will be listed in the video description. If you need additional help, feel free to message me and I'll try to work things out. Other than that, have a good day. I look forward to seeing your creations.